Messenger Angel. I transform lives. Today is Thursday, June 3rd, 2021. With Pastor Chris teaching, our topic for today is, You are in God's realm of life. Our theme scripture is taken from Romans 5, 17, and it says, For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. First Peter 1 Peter 1.23 says, Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. The word translated incorruptible is aftartos in Greek, and it means not corruptible, immortal. You were born again by God's immortal seed. Praise God. Immortality is translated from aftasia in Greek in 2 Timothy 1 verse 10, meaning life that can't be damaged, dented, or shortened. That's the life you have in you now that you're born again. When you received Christ to live in you, you were brought into life and immortality. Glory to God. By the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who hath abolished death and hath brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, according to 2 Timothy 1 verse 10. Praise God. Thus, you are in God's realm of life. You are to reign through the word. Every king has a realm in which he reigns. Yours is the realm of life where death has no power. Glory to God. Oh, blessed be God. You need to be awakened to this reality. The reality of your immortality. You are not an ordinary person. You are not subject to the elements and rudiments of this failing world of darkness. You are seated with Christ in the realm of glory, dominion and power. You ought to affirm every day. In my path there is no death. There's no failure. Everything works. There's glory, excellence, and victory only because I dwell in the realm of life. Hallelujah. I dwell in the realm of life. Hallelujah. Oh, completely refuse and reject anything that isn't consistent with the God life in you. Reject sickness, disease, infirmity, and all walks of darkness. According to the scriptures, You've passed from death to life, from mortality to immortality, from age into agelessness, because in Christ you live in God's realm of life. Praise God forevermore. This is profound. Thank you, Lord, for your word to us today. Okay, let's take a prayer now from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me. Thank you, Father, for in Christ Jesus, life and immortality have been unveiled. I dwell in the realm of life, and in that realm, there's no lack of poverty, no sickness, disease, or infirmity. I reign gloriously over circumstances. I have and manifest the life and nature of God that transcends the ordinary human life. Hallelujah. Okay, for further study. Please read Romans 8, 10 to 11, Colossians 3, verse 10, and John 5, verse 24. Praise God forevermore. Oh, that the whole world will get to know this. Woo! If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life. 
into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.